and I'm here with the CEO of Invisio, named Mike Bell. Uh, we're very excited to have Mike present today, and first we're going to give you a brief overview of SASMAX for those of you who may be new to SASMAX to make sure that uh, you understand how we play a role with Invisio and how we can help you as prospective resellers of Invisio to work with them and use tools through SASMAX and use our relationships to help uh, build your revenue. So SASMAX is the ultimate value add SaaS marketplace. And our true goal here is not to just co connect SaaS vendors and solutions with the whole world, but to find the quality apps who are channel friendly, offering reseller programs together with resellers and the resellers' clients. So uh, our goal is to help resellers like you to discover the right SaaS application and ultimately earn more revenue. So rather than just referring or recommending an app and uh, potentially getting paid for integration and implementation by your clients, we also have vendors who are very excited to work with you, who want you to preserve your relationships and improve the, uh, the tool sets that you provide to your clients and provide you with recurring revenue commission for the life of those clients who have their SaaS vendors. So again, we have very uh, we have great special offers and incentives that our channel friendly SaaS vendors offer you. You have a dedicated account executive as a reseller within SaaSmax who will typically be following up with you regularly and learning what types of clients or what potential solutions may be of interest to you and help you uh, think through what what additional solutions you might be able to upsell through as well. Our marketplace has an excellent search that allows you to drill down by market sector and by size of company and even by ecosystem and some other ways so that you can uh, be efficient in your discovery. And uh, the, the app profiles that we display not only provide a lot of the features and benefits information about an app, but it's also the most comprehensive set of data from a technical standpoint, from marketing collateral as a reseller, and providing their reseller program information, whether they have affiliates programs, direct commission programs, wholesale programs, or white label programs. We allow them to highlight each of those types of programs and how to uh, work with that SaaS vendor depending on their program and what types of commissions are in it for you. So uh, we also offer, like we're doing today, these great webinars where we bring together the C-level execs of these innovative SaaS companies and allow them to communicate with you directly on how to best learn about their app and identify whether or not it's something that works for clients that you have. So on behalf of uh, SASMAX, I'd love to introduce now Mike Bell, the CEO of Invisio. He's a very interesting man with an excellent career in the SAS uh, world, and he may tell you more about it. But uh, again, to keep things on target, Mike, welcome to SASMAX, and uh, please uh, let us know what the special offer is right here for our SASMAX resellers. Uh, thanks, Steve, and, and good morning, everyone. It's, um, it's, it's nice to see you, but I really can't see you, and you can't see me, but I'll assume that I can. Um, we are offering a $1,000 bonus for anyone, for any new reseller uh, or referral partner that, that brings us two new customers by the end of June 30th this year. So um, there's definitely some incentives to get started soon. Um, a little bit of a little bit of uh, Invisio. Um, intuitive, easy to use. I mean, we really we, we target the, the uh, nonprofit sector, and the thing that we understand the most about any application is that if you're going to get adoption, it has to be easy to use. So ease of use has been the first and foremost. And we've done the hard work to make it easy to use. Um, just an example, for the, for the um, activity user in our system, there's less than a one-page user guide. So all very intuitive and easy to use. We're in our seventh year of product development. Um, it was actually that the, the product was uh, designed by the former CEO of uh, St. John's Ambulance, and it was designed uh, to solve the problem to connect people, to plan. They were really good planners, and the, the, the challenge was connecting people to that. And that was the premise of the uh, of the software. So it's purpose-built for the nonprofit sector. We've won a number of awards already, and we've got some big customers, big brothers and big sisters you might know of, Edelman, world's largest, uh, world's largest PR firm, Chambers of Commerce, a lot of sports associations, and that list continues to grow as we move forward. So really, what we're, we target the nonprofit sector across all verticals. Um, they could be cooperatives or credit unions, government at all levels, so municipal, state and federal government, education, healthcare, foundations, trusts, 
community and social service organizations, charities, associations, a whole long list of organizations that we target. And we target the non-sector for a couple of primary reasons. First, there's a mandate to have a strategic plan. Um, the for-profit sector, you'll probably see that in, in far fewer cases. But if you're in the non-profit sector, you've got 15 or more people, there's a 99.9% .9 chance you're going to have a strategic plan. So that's one of the reasons we target non-profits. The other is that there's such a huge report, uh, requirement for reports. There's board reports and committee reports and donor reports and uh, accreditation reports. There's a whole variety of reports, and that's something that Invisio does exceptionally well. We allow you to generate reports from anywhere within your organizational hierarchy and anywhere within your strategic plan. So a big part of the reason why we um, we target the nonprofit sector. Our core titles that we target within that sector would be executive directors or chief executives, and then their their uh, their significant others we call them. So that might be the VP operations, or it could even be someone in human resources. And typically, that's the person that has the that feels the pain around the reporting. That that would be the second person that we target. So uh, the great thing about I suppose when I think about planning, the biggest problem I find with planning is the misunderstanding around language. Um, what you call a goal, I might call a strategy. What somebody else calls an initiative, I might call a project. It's just so many different ways of saying the same thing um, that it becomes really complicated when you force somebody in a specific kind of language. So um, Invisio is fully customizable. You can use whatever language, whatever planning, and whatever performance language your organization uses, you can, you can adapt, Invisio will adapt to that. Um, the other thing we do is we start at the very top. In this case, we've called them goals. You might call them something else. And we allow to cascade that down to individual actions or activities. So it's that taking the big stuff and breaking it down through your hierarchy and then assigning it to individuals at the lowest level. Um, we also, at, at each level of the plan, we allow you to define performance target in a balanced scorecard kind of way so that you can track targets. So you can take those long-term targets at the very top, and you can cascade those down into outcomes, again, whatever you call them, uh, and then be able to aggregate that back up through a reporting sequence and, and report on track, tracking against those specific targets. The other thing within Invisio is we don't force you into any kind of silos either. We, you can open it right up. You can build completely cross-functional um, teams within the business to deliver on the, on the projects or, or the aspects of the business that are important. So um, uh, you, you're not you're not forced in any kind of silo within the business. Um, so the other thing we do is we, we give you an at-a-glance, so when you sign in to Invisio, you're going to be able to see exactly what are the activities that I'm working on today, who am I working on them with, what are the, what are the deliverable dates, and what are the outcomes expected. Plus, we also, at our home page, we give the ability of the organization to show goal progression, high-level progression of the business. So if you really want to be transparent, you want to share all of that stuff with your employees, um, you can do that on the home page. If you choose not to, you, you don't have to. It's customizable. But if you really want to get people excited about what you're doing and share that progression, you can do it on the home page. Plus, we can manage all activities. So think of your strategic plan as one big list of things to do. Um, we allow you to manage that entire list in a really dynamic way so you can change things. Any changes get cascaded immediately to affected team members. Um, and any changes you want to make, any additions or subtractions or changes, you make them within the system, and everybody that's part of that change gets notified, both through email and through the system itself. So that gives you the ability to track both individual as well as team progress. Um, and you can collaborate with anyone within the system. It's fully open and, and, and uh, collaboration across any department or any project is available as well. I'm going to take a drink here. I'm getting a little dry, Dina. Um, the other thing about reports, and we talk about this as a big requirement, this is the pain. Whenever we're sitting down with customers and we're talking about the system, um, the last 20 minutes of the conversation is all in talking about how much easier reporting is going to be and how, you know, how difficult it is today. In fact, the last 20 minutes is really them selling it to themselves. We allow you to generate reports, not just within your hierarchical structure, but within the plan. So anywhere within the plan, we can generate a port, report, and anywhere within the hierarchy, all those reports aggregate up into a top-end CEO report, which, again, is fully customizable. You can slice and dice that report any way that you feel is appropriate. And this can be done in weeks. We actually schedule at the lowest level at the reporting time. There's a, a reminders that are built into it that aggregate back up through. So there's a full sequence reminder schedule that's built in so that when it comes time to 
to have your executive report. If everyone's done the reports below you, the click of a button, a quick summary, and your report is done. Um, and again, that's that's the big pain that, that we really solve within an organization. And those reports can be done from anywhere. We also give you the ability to store those reports as well. So there's a library for report storage for, for looking back if you choose to. Um, we're built on a completely adaptable um, architecture. So um, any kind of structure, whatever your structure might look like, like whether that's a standard structure, whether you're built within a matrix, we can build that structure, that architectural structure within Invisio. Um, we talked about cascading the plan from the, the top end to the who's doing what, and, and the progress dashboards is a big part of it. So you can see, you can watch progression at each level of the plan. Um, the managers can. So what does it cost? So it's $15 a user a month. We bill annually. Um, so it's $180 per user per year. We've got a minimum of 20 users. So the starting license fee for 20 users is $3,600, and then there's $180 per user after that. Um, set up these. We call it implementation, and that's where we take your plan, we massage it into the system, and we often get broken plans that need some work, right? That maybe there, there's linkages and whatnot are broken. That's part of the implementation process, and uh, and then we train. And so by the time um, we've got your plan in, everybody will up and train. We can have this turned around within 30 days, so we can get you up and running pretty quickly, and it's really affordable. And by the way, there's no hidden fees, right? We provide all support and training. That's included with all of our license fees. So there's no surprise fees after that. You won't have to pay any support, and you won't have to pay for any training. Um, uh, so we've got two levels that we call affiliates or referral partners. We pay them a 10% commission for, for uh, closed referral leads. If you're a little bit larger organization, so we require at least 15 consultants to be evaluated at a reseller. Um, and in that case, they would actually own the customer, and we would, we would provide the software uh, and the support, but they would do all the billing and so on. And there's a five dollar per user per month premium built into that for the value added reseller. And this is an example of how you can grow your revenue within Visio. The assumptions we've made in this table uh, is that you're going to get a new customer per one new customer per month. Uh, the average account is going to be 30 users, and we're going to re renew it 100 percent. We've got so far we're renewing at about 93 percent. Um, and that's just kind of the way business works sometimes. Um, you know, someone changes and they don't adopt the new system or whatnot, but our adoption rate's very, very high. We're working hard to get that higher, um, but right now it's, um, it's pretty robust as it is today. One of the big benefits that we talk to, and, and typically our resellers would be um, strategic planning consultants. Uh, and, and in fact, I, I spent four years um, doing planning consulting back in the uh, in the late 90s. And the biggest problem that we had is that you know we'd walk away from an assignment, we'd give them a great plan, uh, and we walk away. We're walking out the door, and our fingers are closed. You know, it was the whole, oh my goodness, what's going to happen now? Because nine times out of ten, that document that you just prepared is going to sit on the credenza, and it's going to gather dust. And we had no meaningful way of being able to track how that was going. And, and you know, we'd meet regularly with the client, and we'd kind of get bits and pieces. But we really wouldn't know how it was going. So Invisio gives you the ability. In fact, your customers can actually insert you into the hierarchy. They can add you as a consultant with, visit, with view only status anywhere within the, the structure. And you can see how things are folding. So as a consultant, it gives you a meaningful way of tracking progress, but it gives you the ability to also look for problems within the implementation process where you as a consultant can go in and start to help them deliver a meaningful result. So we, the, the, the value add to consultants really isn't so much the, the fee that we pay you up front to bring the customer in, it's the visibility back into the implementation and the ability to generate more billable hours as a result of that. The other thing we'll also do is co-marketing as well. So you know, we're obviously very interested in working with resellers and whether that's trade shows or email marketing support, um, we are doing market segmented case studies. So if you work in a specific market segment, we'll work with you to build a case study for that. We can also share content. So we're building our website out really as a resource place. And we're, we're starting to put more blogs. And you'll see them come on as we go forward. And we'll be working with partners to build out that resource. So our website will become really an aggregation point, a curation point for really high content information about strategic planning. So what are customers saying? We're just, and, and right now, some of you will notice that mo these customers are actually in Australia. We brought the software to North America about 18, uh, 18 months ago. We work from Vancouver, but we cover the entire market across North America. 
um, and we're starting to get traction here. Now, the things we hear are just massive cultural change, right, that they're actually delivering against their plan. But there's also this notion of transparent accountability, that there's really no place to hide um, within this system. If you're not doing the work you're supposed to do, it becomes pretty apparent. So it's a great tool for HR people as well to be able to spot the problem areas within who's not doing what and look for remedial measures to, to, to work on that. So how to pitch, and, and I mean, this is a big thing, and it's something that we continue to learn about ourselves. And, and, and really, we look for a meaningful conversation about pain points. Um, and the two big pain points, again, I'll, I'll stress this time and time again, is that how do I, how do I implement my, my plan, and how can I demonstrate progress against that? So, you know, it's really important. And in fact, for donors in the nonprofit space, if you can engage uh, donors again and again and show them what you're doing and how you're impacting within your specific um, area of expertise, they're not likely to, to continue to give any money going forward. So that's really important. That's a, a big part of engaging stakeholders and, and, uh, and donors in, in the progress of your plan. So that's, that's a big part of our pitch is that getting people engaged and being able, be able to generate reports that you could use to involve others in your organization, but also to help run the business successfully and to move forward and to look for the areas within the business that aren't working well and to abandon those ideas that maybe were bad to start with and really focus on the things that are working well. Um, we do full sales and product training uh, to our value at our resellers. Um, for our referral partners, we do the selling, so we'll get assigned to a business development person with us if the referral, referral partner brought it in. But if you're big enough and you've got the resources to be a value at a reseller, we'll spend the time necessary to share our sales training methods with you. Um, and we'll entire, we, we manage the whole post training piece as well. So there's no requirement, unless of course you want to have that touch point, we're happy to have you do it. But we're prepared to take on the full support functionality once the, once the customer's up and running and on the system. So how to get involved with Invisio? Um, we're on today with SASMAX. Sign up as a SASMAX partner, uh, as an Invisio partner through SASMAX, and get integrated in your website and sales process. And let's start planning co-marketing and sales activities. I mean, we're ready to engage right away. We've got the internal resources to help you work through those initial startup phases and any new product for uh, for a reseller to work with is going to take some time and we're prepared to work through that stage with you to get really become experts at what we do and how we do it um, and to get really comfortable for pitching our product. The offer, we've talked about this before, uh, you get a thousand dollar bonus by referring two new customers by June 30th, 2014. In fact, Dean has been kind enough to put us into in touch with a couple of people already as well. So she's getting close to that thousand uh, dollar bonus and thanks for that, Dina. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it's a great product, and I can definitely see and understand the the usefulness and the efficiency that that can create, particularly as a participant on uh, several different boards where I'm either a lay leader or a donor or an officer. And so to be able to have a tool that truly allows the administration to manage all the different moving parts of uh, you know an external team and keep everyone on the same page, I think it's it's a great value. You know, it's interesting, you know, we use Invisio ourselves, um, and i got to tell you, it's really powerful when I can drill down and look at what everybody's working on and how it's progressing. You, you don't really have, and, until you've had something like that, you really don't understand the power of it. Um, and that's the exciting part, is a complete visibility into, you know, into your business and what's working and what's not. And, uh, and as a CEO, really, I mean, my job, um, apart from the fact that, you know, I do a lot of selling, which most CEOs do in, in smaller organizations, but it's really that problem solving. It's working with my team and the people that, you know, that make things happen in our organization to make sure that they're on track and they're doing the things that they need to do. And the video gives me the ability to find out where the hot spots are, and that's really critical for, as for, for us from an execution perspective. That's critical at our stage. Absolutely. Now, in terms of adoption, and you know, you the person you sell it to is usually the one who is you know gets the most value of it with the reports and, and being able to uh, uh, pull everyone together. Now, as far as the adoption by all the different users of the platform, is there about is is that where resellers can help to integrate them and train them, or how, what is typically done to engage? The, uh, the additional people to get them to use it. Yeah, well, we, we do full training as well. We also, we're also measuring what people are, what customers are doing on our website. 
um, on, on, the, on the application so that we know that who's not using it. And that'll trigger alerts within our system. And they'll get a phone call. You know, I, I just wanted to touch base. I know you've got a report coming up. I wanted to talk you through that. So we really, we, we accept the fact that, you know, the first check that we get from a customer is going to represent somewhere between 20 and 30% of the total amount that that customer is going to pay us. So for us, the beginning of the sales process is that first check. It's not the end of it. So we work really hard to understand how the customer is behaving, interacting with the system, and build in, in, in techniques and, and processes within our internal support organization to help them get engaged when we identify a problem that maybe they're not using it and we need to figure out why and help them get on board. So very critical for us as an organization to, to drive that adoption process as quickly as we can. We don't, uh, we don't expect our resell channel to do that. We're prepared to do that ourselves. But if our resale channel has some ideas or some insights into how to make that happen, then we obviously work with them to see that it gets done. Okay, excellent. Well, if there are any questions, I think that we've come to the end of the presentation at this time. And I'll stop recording at this time. So, Mike, thank you so much for, for uh, giving our resellers this 